from Aquaponics NYC. We're in Woodstock doing the Woodstock edition. We're installing an aquaponics system up here in Woodstock, New York. And this is the third part in a multi-part series. Today we're going to be putting the grow bed liners into the grow beds. So let's get to it. This is what we'll end up with our finished grow bed uh, at the end of today. It's lined with Duriscrim. Duriscrim is a polyethylene liner and it's a UV inhibitor so it's good indoors and out. And it is what is used in the aquaponics industry to grow organically. It can be certified organic. So in the center of the grow beds is a gap. That gap is where the plumbing will go. And I use a quarter inch plywood that we're going to put the bulkhead fitting through. So we measure the dimensions of the grow bed. In this case it's 44 wide. Uh, the piece of Duriscrim is 72 inches, so more than enough for the length of the grow bed. So when I measure this out, I want to make sure that I square up the cut as good as possible uh, because I'm going to be using multiple sheets, so I want each of the edges very square. And I'll just take a very sharp razor blade preferably a bland, brand new one, and cut the sheet. It cuts fairly easy with a, a good razor blade. After I cut the sheet and put it on top, you can see that it's obviously fairly inflexible material and will be hard to fold in place, so i got to figure out a way to fold it. So I grabbed a piece of newspaper and decided that I experiment a bit on the newspaper before I try it on the fabric. I found that um, although with the newspaper it was kind of easy to get the corner right, that when I translated that to the sheet of Duriscrim, that it was much harder to get the corners right. Um, you can see the vertical and horizontal folds that I made. These are really the only folds you need to make. I spent a good 15-20 minutes trying to figure out how to pre-fold the corners and get it just right. Well, it turns out that I really didn't need to do that. Like I said, those horizontal and vertical folds are really the only folds that you need. So I learned the trick is to fold vertically and horizontally, as you see I have folded it here. And it's really just to get the sheet to drop down into the grow bed so it's covering the bottom of the grow bed. Once it's on the bottom, then the bottom corners are established and you're able to pull up the ends and the angles of the corners kind of self make themselves. So get those corners established. Once they're set then you can just pull up the end. Now I obviously can't fold across because these corners are obstructing me, so I have to cut the corners. And this is a good place to start. You tack down the corners with a few screws. And then the end will fold over quite e easily once all that's all established. At this point the end piece is two to four layers thick so I have to tack through all of those layers and then the only thing left after I've tacked all the corners and the edges is to cut away the excess material. And 
here you have it, the finished grow bed. So that completes our installation of the Duraskin liner into the grow beds. The material is, you know, it's not too difficult to work with. Uh, it takes a little time to get used to it and to know what it can do. Um, if I had to compare this to the previous liner that I used, the EPDM Pond liner, uh, the black rubberized stuff, uh, this is a little less durable than the EPDM. Uh, for example, if I dropped a screw on the floor and then I had this liner on top of it and stepped on it, I'd for sure puncture it or maybe I'd drop a screwdriver from a height and it would puncture this liner. So, uh, I don't know which is better. Um, I would use either one. This liner is probably somewhat more expensive because you can't buy it in small increments like you can with the black EPDM pond liner. Uh, you have to buy a roll. Uh, the smallest roll I've seen is 6 feet by 25 feet and that was $90 and I paid probably $17 for my other liner so it's a little bit more expensive. Um, so. I will probably put some wood above this to make it look nicer, uh, you know, just as a little trim. But that's pretty much it for this edition. Uh, the next edition, I guess I'll be um, doing all the plumbing. I think that's next. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And once again, Aquaponics NYC. Woodstock Edition, signing out.